The Gazunda is a simple machine designed to take the stress and strain out of moving heavy hospital beds, resulting in less effort and fewer injuries for you, the operator. Everything you need to operate the Gazunda can be found on the control panel. From here, you can select your speed, check battery power levels, or electrically adjust the height of the hitch bar for easy connection to the bed. It is also from here that we turn the Gazunda on and off using the key switch. Turn the key clockwise and the Gazunda comes to life. The handles are where you steer or control the Gazunda's speed. The right grip is the throttle. Rotate the grip forward and the Gazunda moves forward. Rotate the grip back towards you and the Gazunda moves in reverse. Like any new machine, familiarity is the key. So the more you use the Gazunda, the easier and more natural it becomes. Now we know how to get the Gazunda moving. Let's make it stop. To stop, simply release the throttle and the machine stops by itself. To get going again, turn the throttle and you're off. While we're on the topic of stopping, let's have a look at that big red button on the control panel. Press it and the machine stops and turns off automatically. To restart, twist the button clockwise, as indicated by the arrows, and the machine comes back to life, ready for service. So, once you have the hang of moving forwards, backwards and stopping, you may want to use the speed selector to choose one of three speeds. The best way is just to begin with slow, and, once you're comfortable, move on to the next speed. You can also control your speed using the throttle, where the more you turn it, the faster it goes. A new feature of the GZS Gazunda is that it has a direct drive wheel, so manoeuvring and steering the Gazunda is now even easier. Simply use the handlebars to drive the Gazunda in the direction you desire. Even a sharp 90 degree turn can be handled with ease. So, now you know how to drive the Gazunda. Let's hitch it to a bed and put it to work. The hitch is operated using buttons on the control panel. As you might expect, the raise button will move the hitch up and the lower button will move it down again. Now, let's attach it to a bed for the full effect. Just drive up to the bed Raise or lower the hitch bar with flexi hitch units until it is aligned with a clear section of bed frame. To move a flex hitch unit, simply slide left to right. When everything is lined up, simply pull out the flexi hitch strap, ensuring that the handle is in the raised position. Wrap the strap around the bed frame and connect to the bracket beneath the flex hitch assembly like so. The strap will automatically retract to take up any slack and then tighten and lock the strap in place by lowering the handle fully down. The Gazunda is designed to save you effort and reduce the risk of injury when moving heavy hospital beds. It will fit into lifts, travel easily over carpet and up and down ramps and turn corners with a minimum of fuss. It is simple to use and designed to make life easier for people involved in moving heavy beds. Here are a couple of tips to help you get the most out of your Gazunda. The height of the handles can be adjusted quickly and easily to suit different operators or minimise the length in lifts. For example, just pull the pin outwards, adjust the height and release the pin. The Gazunda also has a unique safety feature called a back-off bar. That's it there. The back-off bar ensures that the operator can never be accidentally caught between the Gazunda and another object. A new added feature to the GZS Gazunda is that the back-off bar can also be used for stopping the Gazunda in an emergency when driving forward. This will stop the forward motion and restrict movement in that direction until the unit has been momentarily operated in reverse. To make sure you get a full day's work from your Gazunda, we suggest it is charged each night when bed moving is at a minimum. Once plugged in, 
switch the charger on. A green light on the charger indicates charging is in process. And full charging takes about six hours. Note, the bed mover is disabled when on charge, so it is not possible to drive off with any cables connected. Thanks so much for joining the presentation. And feel free to contact us if you have any queries.